Hey everybody, welcome back. I've got one today I've been meaning to do for fucking a couple months now. Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what it is. You know. It's a Burberry Touch for men. Uh, <sighs> just picked it up a couple of years ago now. Uh, and the story is I didn't like it at first. I didn't like it at all. I thought it was uh, a little too floral for me. Uh, white musk and floral. I think I've said it before. I'm not a huge fan of white musk. Definitely not a white fan of white musk and white florals. Uh, but... One sec. Sorry, the cat was meowing to get out. <laughs> uh, like I said, it just wasn't... It's funny how a certain scents you don't like right away and you smell them a few times and they start growing on you. And uh, This one did it for me. I really like it now. I, I, I really like it. Uh, let's give you what it is. It's it's Burberry Touch, uh, released in 2000, a woody floral musk. Accords uh, are fresh, spicy, ozonic, musky, woody, aquatic, aromatic. Top notes are Artemisia, violet leaf, and mandarin orange. Mid is nutmeg, white pepper, cedar. Base is tonka, vetiver, white musk. That's the box. It's kind of neat. It, it closes like one of them old fucking duotang things you wrap around. It's kind of neat. There's the bottle. Just a little bottle. Like I said, I bought it back a couple years ago now, if not three or four. And I can't remember what I paid for it. Um, if I had to guess, no more than 30 bucks. It's only a little 30 mil. Uh, the cap's kind of neat. It's like a faux wood cap. The bottle's okay. Uh, Burberry always makes pretty neat boxes and bottles. Not the best cologne sometimes though. Burberry Weekend. Ooh, you all see my review on that. It smells lag off. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the cap in the bottle. Give it a little spray here, just a decent atomizer. Yeah, it, it really, it's grown on me. I really do kind of like it. Uh, off the top, you get the uh, pepper and the citrus. You can dry it down over here. Uh, yeah, I get pepper, citrus, but I, I also get the musk. A lot of people will seem not to right away, but I get it immediately. White my, my, my nose picks up musk really well. I don't know what it is. And sometimes, like I said, you can just, some people pick up on certain notes, certain smells, and my nose just picks up musk on anybody when they're wearing it. Uh. So I've never been a fan of musk, white musk, uh, but when it's done right, and this is done right, it, it, it's, it, it, if you use proper notes that complement the white musk, then this this is this is one of them. Uh, smells really nice. I don't know really what to say. It, it starts off as like a citrusy pepper musky scent to me. Um, and then about 40 minutes into it, the uh, the florals come in. and the, It's like a peppery floral, white floral, white musk type thing. And then on the, the very end of the dry down... The base, if you will, 
I just get white floral and musk. Um, there's a hint of leather in there and it's not listed in the notes. What it could be, uh, it could be like a combination of the, the cedar and the violet leaf and maybe the nutmeg giving it that earthy leathery type feel. And that's what sets off the white musk for me, makes it wearable. It's, it's not just a white musk and white floral type scent, which to my nose is very offensive and for a man. Very nice for a woman, but very feminine. Um, with the pepper, and I, like I said, I think that violet leaf, mix of that violet leaf cedar and nutmeg, Maybe even a bit of the Tonka bean. It's a slight, 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 very slight sweetness. I mean, you can barely smell it, but it's there. Uh, yeah, like I said, it goes through stages, almost weird stages, where it's citrusy, peppery, then it's florally, peppery, and then it's uh, florally, musky. But the must stays literally from the start to the end. I smell the musk, but my nose picks musk up. Just like that, like I said, so maybe it's just my nose. Uh, like I said, didn't like it at first. Uh, it was too, too musky. Uh, too white musk, too white floral. Uh, reminded me a lot of uh, white musk from Body Shop. A lot. Uh, kind of a baby powder vibe to it too, if, if you like baby powder. This might be good to layer with baby powder. Uh, I've never tried that. I might try that sometime. It's got a bit of a baby powder vibe to it. Uh, it's nice. Like I said, I like it. Uh, I think the reason I started liking it, I really didn't start liking it till a few months ago. Uh, my parents came down to visit. From my home city, it's a good four hour drive away. So not super far, but far enough. You're just far enough away that it's, you feel like you're away, you know what I mean? And uh, anyway, they came to visit. My dad's a big golfer. He can golf real well. <laughs> I remember going with him a few times. I never golfed as a kid, but we'd go to like the driving range and the golf course and I'd always just goof around and the driving range had a playground there. I'd play on that. And, Every now and then I'd hit a few balls, but I was never much into golf. And Dad's been trying forever to get me to play. Uh, so the first time in my life, Dad come down to visit. And it was just the start of September, so it was getting cool, and the golf course wasn't crowded. And it's like, Dad, let's go, let's go for a round of golf. Bring your clubs, you know. When you come down, we'll go for a round of golf. It's just memories like that that are tied to certain things. And what perfume did I wear that day? It was a bit of a classy golf course, you know. They had to have a, you know, a collared shirt and khakis on. And you couldn't just show up in jeans and a t-shirt. So I wore one of my nice collared shirts, golf shirts. Uh, nice pair of uh, khakis. And I put this on. And it was such a fun day with my father. You know, I'm not a fan of golf. And I'll probably never golf again on my own. Except for when dad comes to visit or I go visit dad. We'll probably, I'll go for a round with him every time I can now. Not because I like golf. Not that I dislike it. It's just not my thing. But I like that time. And you know, and time's precious, guys. You know, we're all getting older. You know, I, I, it's funny, I watched the old man golfing with me that day and it was like, you know, he was 30 again and, you know, I was five and <laughs> we were at the driving range and I was, I mean, it makes you wish sometimes maybe maybe if I had taken up golfing, we could have done something. Not that we had a bad relationship. We have an incredible relationship. Always have. It's just 
he always made efforts for things for me. You know, my, my, gave me my first car, you know, he drove me when I didn't have my car. He drove me to all my football practices and football games, rugby uh, games and practices and Wherever I needed a ride anywhere, bang, dad, can you come get me? It didn't matter if it was five in the morning or fucking whatever. Yep, I'll be right there. You know, he, he, incredible, incredible man, incredible father. And it just kind of made me wish that day that I had spent more time doing what he liked to do instead of always just, but I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a child, though. A child generally doesn't want to, you know, they don't think about that until you get a little older. So if you're younger, you're watching this. Do some things your parents like to do. They're not as cheesy as you think. First off, golf is fun. If you're doing it with the right person. You know, maybe like to play tennis. Maybe like to watch a movie. Maybe whatever. Do whatever. Do something with them. You don't have to go all crazy and do stuff they like all the time. But every once in a while, guys, do something with them. Good advice. Good advice. I wish fucking... Fucking 15-year-old me, I'd go back and be like, dude, just... just Hit a, hit a bucket of balls with the old man. You know, play some pool with him. He was real, he's a real good pool shooter, too. Like, fucking one of the top in Canada. Like, legit. Um, you know, these things that he likes to do. Do some of that stuff with him. Or your mother. You know, mom likes just to talk. Sit down one time and just talk to your mama. 15-year-old me, what the fuck? But, I mean, again, you're 15, 16, 17, whatever, you're fucking, at least all I was thinking about was sports and girls. <laughs> you know, so it's just, I'm not judging you if that's the way you are, or if that's what you did. I understand, believe me, I did it too. But if, if you really, if you're really listening and you've got the time, because, man, you're going to wake up one day. And you're going to be like, man, I wish I had done that with my father or my mother. And they're not going to be around no more. Harsh, bro. Anyway, not to get a downer, but that was the story. And every time I wear this now, I've only worn it a couple times since. But every time I do, I'm instantly. It's a new memory. So it's fresh. But I'm instantly taken back to that day on the golf course. <laughs> we, we, we went twice. It was so much fun. And mom and... Stuff was back here making dinner. Big turkey dinner. We got back. Big turkey dinner. This is always going to remind me of that day with my father. Uh, but that's nostalgia. It, again, it's another one that, you know, if I rate it on nostalgia now, it's a five of everything. Uh, but, you know, realistically, it's not a five. Uh the smell, well, nice and changes, very complex. Uh, very, like I said, goes through stages. It's not going to be for everybody. It is very floral. It is very musky. Uh, baby powdery, like I said. Some people love it. A lot of people love it. And that's cool. I, I, I couldn't figure out what I was missing until recently. Uh, I'm probably going to get a bigger bottle of it. I'll never be without it again. Just there's certain colognes, like I said, just memories that I'll never be without. This will be one of them. Um, you know, the try it, buy it, or ditch it. I gotta go with at least try it with an asterisk. If you don't like baby powder, white must floral, then maybe baby ditch it. If you're not sure though, uh, try it. I still would say try it. Just try it. You know, get a get a little decant or something, or find a store let you have a spray or two of it, a uh, friend or whatever. Uh, give it a try. It's getting a little hard to find now. Not like fucking super hard or anything. It's just been around for a while, so most of the major stores aren't carrying it anymore. Um, it's a beautiful scent though, guys. It really is. Um, and like I said, it's a little manly with that violet leaf and nutmeg and cedar type vibe to it. Gives it a little bit of an earthy, leathery feel to it too with that musk, which is very nice. Uh, 
Yeah, that's not. I mean, it's it's it's, it's very versatile. I find it's, it's good for the summer, the winter, uh, dressed up, dressed down. More of a fall, spring type scent, I'd say, if I had to give it that. Uh, and definitely semi casual, casual to semi casual. But you can dress it up and wear it in the winter. It's 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 that nice. Uh, longevity. This is a hard one because a lot of people say, oh, it doesn't last. It doesn't last. Uh, that initial blast doesn't last. The pepper and the, the citrus. Uh, I find, I think that's what most people are complaining about. It not lasting. Because it doesn't last. It goes away within a half hour. And that's pretty much the projection you're going to get. It projects really well for, like I said, that half hour, 40 minutes couple feet out there it's pretty loud the, the volatile notes the citrus and the pepper are very boom out there in your face you know what i mean uh but then after that it, it comes in pretty close not a skin scent about a foot away and the pepper and the white florals and the musk and stuff all kick in and it pretty much stays the whole length of the fragrance i found for myself about a foot away and uh, really doesn't become a skin scent until the last half hour or so. Which brings me to longevity. This one does last. On me, I got about 8 hours out of it. Uh, on my skin, I got about 10 hours on my clothes. The only problem with the clothes is, is the scent didn't seem to go through them stages. Kind of just stayed a baby powder smell on my clothes whereas my skin it went through them different stages of of the, the, like i said the citrus and the pepper and the florals and the musk it all went through it so i'd say this one wear on your skin not your clothes i am a, you know i'm not against wearing it. a lot of guys oh, wear, your clothes. wear them on your clothes a lot of them are fine this one here i think it needs the heat and the oils of your skin your ph to really really come out and that might be a problem for some people, if their skin is just... I can see people not liking this. It's just... It, it could be a one-no pony on some people. I, I imagine it's just that type of... Uh, type of scent. But on me, it's just... Surprisingly... Uh, complex and, and appealing and even sensual. Uh, very nice for me. So if it works for you... It's going to work really well. If it doesn't, well, like I said, try it. it doesn't work. Don't worry about it. There's plenty of other stuff out there. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, guys. It's a little quick one. I want to talk about it for a while now. Finally getting around to it. Reminds me of my daddy. I'm golfing. Shit. Good story. Good story. I hope you like my stories. Let me know if you don't. Uh, or if you do. I'm still going to do them anyway. I don't bend to peer pressure. <laughs> too old for that shit now uh yeah anyway guys peace love be good to each other